All right, so shaping rudimentary stuff for stationary command, sitting down. With a dog that's small or a puppy, right, you, it's huge to get them up on elevated surfaces. And you could do the same thing with heel, except you'd need like a picnic table, um, something long where they can actually get into a stride a bit. But it's going to save your back huge. Um, because I, I, we just had a session uh, to shape the command. It was uh, not aesthetically pleasing, but that, that's part of what I want to show is that, you know, there's some sausage making involved with the process. It's not always going to be, you know, look really refined. I mean, that's the point. They don't know it yet. So you got to muddle through a lot of this stuff. But um, anyway, after my back was killing me, I got back problems. And I'm like, it's because I'm bending over too much. Got to get her up higher. So I'm going to do it in my office. Again, zero distraction is very important. And I'm going to use this garden box. Okay, it's, it's got a piece of plywood and then a yoga mat on top. Important thing with surfaces is it's got to, can't be slippery. Okay, so like something like AstroTurf, yoga mat so is a real good thing to, to cover those surfaces. With, otherwise, they're going to slip and slide. They won't pay attention. Um, this is your baby. This is your baby. So I'm going to get her up a bit higher too. Now, it's, again, it's going to reinforce for her to hold her command. But this time, instead of getting behind her with my feet, I'm just going to, I may use some gentle leash pressure, barely any, but I'm mainly going to be using my hands. Yes. And I'm just going to shape sit with my hands, okay? Let's see. Maya, sit. That's a sit. Good girl. Good sit, good girl. Good girl. Very good. Good sit. That's a good girl. See how I'm here? Just like that. And then I work my way back up. Keep going under her chin. Good girl. Good sit. Very good. Good girl. Good choice. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. Heel. Here you go, baby. Oh, yeah, good girl. Sit. Good. Whoops. You're a silly puppy. Shh. Don't sit. Don't sit. Don't sit. Good sit. Good girl. Good. Very good sit. When I press down like that, I put some pressure at first, and then I smooth it out as I as I make as they start to move downward. Very good. When you, when you put, use your hands right to to kind of put a little pressure on them and move them in the direction you want them to go. It can't. It's got to be kind of quick. Even if it's kind of quick and even sharp, it's not going to feel as as confrontational to them. You know, this feels very human, but like pow, that's very dog. They see 16 frames per second, we see four. So if you're fast with stuff, it's not gonna feel malicious to them. No, straighten up. Good girl, good straighten up, good sit. That's a sit, good girl, very good. What a good girl. Good girl. Good baby. Good, there you go, good sit, good girl. Heel, I'm gonna try it on the high one there because it's just a perfect size for it. Again, my back's killing me. Let's see how she does. I'll move this. Make sure I give her a hand. Yeah, yeah. Got it. All right, I'll help her out. Here, baby. Oof. I'll place her up here. Sit. No, sit. Good sit, good girl. Very good. Now she's really not gonna break her sit now, right? Well, she'll find a way to do it. No, nope, sit, she did. No, sit. No, sit. Good girl. Very light leash pump. Teeny tiny little bit of leash pressure upward, pulling her chin up, and I'm using my hand on her rear end to get her downward. Very good. And then massaging, when she's there, massaging backwards. And again, all these massages, it's basically to get them into position under the guise of praise. Good girl. So we want the head back, we're going to massage backwards. Good. 
right? But she, what she doesn't know is I'm putting her where she needs to be. <laughs> you want to take a dip in my face? That would not be a good idea, young lady. And by the way, be careful, you know, with... Look, I can tell this dog is... I mean, look at her, you know what I mean? She's not going to rip my face off, but be very careful about getting your face anywhere near a dog. Even with a puppy, because they nip a lot, you know? Like, she kind of wanted to give, like, a little love nip there. Love kiss nip. Good, good set. Very good. Good sit, good girl. Heel. Yes, good girl. Sit. Oops. Nope. Sit. Shh. Oh, sit. That's a sit, good girl. Very good. Very good. No. Sit. Good sit. Straighten up. Good straighten. Good girl. Very good. I just repositioned her. My hand was under the butt. I had like a little claw right right hand. I went whoop, like that real fast. And then stepped. Good. Positioning is very important. They gotta be perfectly parallel to you. Otherwise they're gonna be way more likely to break the command and get into trouble. Couple of steps, teeth reinforced to hold it. Good girl, good sit. Very good. Good girl, good choice, good sit. So she's learning sit means sit, and that's how you build it. We're building up to a full circle. We'll probably get to that tomorrow. And then you go from on one leash, full circle on one. And then we want to do it with two and then three. And as we add distance, we want to add distractions too. But you start very, very minimal. You start with one teeny tiny step. Good girl, good choice. And praising them every time they don't break the command. And we're helping her a lot with these elevated surfaces along with my back. Good girl. Very good. Good girl, good girl. Real, real, real quick. Even that was a little too long for her. It's gonna take her long. So again, baby, like, look, those finger lock, tiny leash pump, but not even a pump, just do, 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 tiny. So their chin just comes up a bit. She's a little stubborn. Normally, I use my hands totally, but she's she's a little naughty, this one, right? I like that about you. 